Hello, you join us as we are getting ready for a lovely weekend away in the caravan. So why don't you come pack with us? We've had comments on some of our recent videos asking us what we pack in the caravan, what we pack in the car, what we leave on board. So we thought it might be fun to make a little video while we pack for a weekend away and we can show you where everything goes. So first up is the preparation phase. Let's get to it. Does anyone else's dog always lie on the clean clothes that they're trying to pack? When it comes to packing clothes, one thing that we have found very useful and have done ever since we started caravanning are these very lightweight fabric bags which we just found on Amazon to be honest. Um, so what we do is we pack all of our clothes in here in bulk and then when we arrive on site we set up into the wardrobe or cupboards or what have you and then these just fold up really small, they're super lightweight and they kind of get forgotten about until we come home again. Now we're only going away for a weekend this weekend, so there's not much to go in here. Um, we put both of our clothes in the same bag, but if we were going away for longer, we'd probably take two of these, but they are an absolute godsend. Tozer heard a rumor that we were packing his stuff, so he's come to investigate, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> haven't you? I'm working on packing up the box of Dozer's bits and pieces. He doesn't travel light nowadays. So I'm starting off with a few bits and pieces for enrichment. So I've got a couple of Kongs, which we just find really handy to pop in the fridge or in the freezer upright in these beakers. A licky mat, he loves his licky mat. And if I'm taking the licky mat, then I cannot forget the peanut butter, special peanut butter for dogs, he loves that. Um, then I've just got a few bits and pieces of grooming just in case he needs a brush or a quick clean. Um, always, always travel with a tick picker because you never know, um, never be too careful and they're really tricky to remove so I love this tick twister and of course you cannot forget the all important dog poo bags, obviously. And we've already pre-put together a little box of treats. Now, he, he won't eat all of these. We're only going for a short weekend, but it's better to have too many treats than not enough, right? Um, and some of his favorite fish treats. And now I'm gonna measure out all of the food into pouches and pop them in here as well. Just gonna pop in his U move. That is breakfast ready to go. Dozer is all packed and ready to go. Did we forget anything, Dozer? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go? So we always take some board games with us and this is our board games cupboard and this time we are taking with us Jaipur, a very good two-player game and Codenames Duet which we've only played once but is really good. Also we have some DVDs. We've got a little wallet that we take DVDs away with us on and we've had this for like 20 years. In here are some 20 year old movies actually. Uh, we are on a bit of a 90s trip. So there's a few in here. We've got Ghost, Point Break, oh, Logan's Run, that's really old. Um, Rear Window, even older, and Labyrinth. Okay, so don't judge us on our choice of DVDs. It's pretty <laughs> eclectic. Yeah, those 90s films, they're 30 years old. Oh yeah, that's right, oh my God. It was the 90s 30 years ago. <laughs> That's math. <laughs> That's math, that makes me feel old. There we go, we're gonna keep entertained. I'm just packing up my toiletry bag and one top tip that I found to be really helpful to avoid taking full size bottles that take up a ton of space and weigh a little bit more is to refill these plastic refillable bottles. So things like shampoo, conditioner, um, I just put enough in for the trip that we're taking 
perfect space savers so I need to get these filled up so let's do that. Now this isn't everything that I'm taking because we don't actually leave for a day or so um, so I'm just getting everything ready but I love this Thule bag. Mac picked it up for me from the NEC show and it's brilliant it's like a TARDIS so I can fit pretty much everything in here from contact lens solution sunscreen skincare my glasses all of my makeup and I can fit a lot in this it's pretty roomy one thing I always make sure to do before we go away in the caravan is to charge up my Kindle because if this ran out of battery while we were away and I couldn't read, I would be absolutely devastated. Now I do love a physical book, but I particularly love taking the Kindle away with me because that means if I finish a book, I've always got plenty on my TBR ready to go. We're about to start packing up the caravan, but before we do that, I thought we would give you a quick tour of some of the items that we leave in here permanently. So let's start at the front end over here. In this cupboard, we keep our first aid kit and we keep our limpets because then that's just really handy when we put the awning up, they're in the perfect place to grab. This cupboard is fairly small, so we don't tend to fit an awful lot in here. Um, but we do have our fake plants in here and we also pop in a couple of board games that we might leave in the caravan. Over in this cupboard uh, we actually put our rechargeable lamp so we wrap it in a blanket and pop it in there nice and safely for travel. So that's one job done, that's good. In this cupboard is our snack cupboard. Don't, don't, don't look too closely, there's chocolate and popcorn and all sorts of fun stuff in there. We do need to replenish it, but we also use this cupboard when we're on site as an overspill for food because the cupboards in the kitchen aren't quite big enough for our appetites. Um, <laughs> Under this bench seat is the uh, electrics, all the gubbins and things like that. So there isn't any space under there for storage. However, under this bench seat, which is accessed from the outside, uh, we put the uh, bits and pieces for the motor mover. So the remote and stuff like that. And we don't tend to put much else in there. Otherwise, when we're set up on site, we use this under storage for dozers food and all of his bits and pieces, so it's all in one easy place. Have I forgotten anything over here? No, we do have, these are a couple of real plants that we do leave in the caravan permanently. We always pop them in one of the kitchen cupboards when we are driving so that, uh, so that they don't get bashed about and die. And it's Mac's responsibility to water them every couple of weeks, so I always have to remind him. Now, moving into the kitchen, um, when we are getting ready to leave on a trip we'll plug in the caravan perhaps the night before we go to get the fridge nice and cold and we will tend to travel with a few things in the fridge like milk, a couple of cans of beer, some cheese and wine and <laughs> stuff like that. So we'll put a few bits and pieces in the fridge so it stays nice and cold um, on the way to site and then up in these two cupboards in this one we keep our plates and crockery that stays in there permanently and then in this one nothing in there at the moment um, but like I said that's where we'll put things like uh, our food on these two shelves we uh, normally have our tea caddy and um, coffee jars um, but we store them somewhere else while we're traveling so we'll show you that in a minute and then the last thing to show you is just the under sink cupboard. And in here, um, obviously there's pull out drawer for cutlery. And then the things that we keep in here permanently, dozers, bowls, um, recycling caddy, our iron. Yes, we do iron, I know. 
uh, what can I tell you? I just like Who to irons? <laughs> Mac irons. Thank you. I like to be wrinkle free, my clothes and my face. <laughs> um, and also chopping board and a couple of pots and pans and um, a couple of pans and things like that under the oven as well. So those are the kinds of things that stay in this part of the caravan permanently. And now I'm going to hand over to Mac to give you a tour of the rest. Okay, so I have the rear end of the caravan to talk you through. So I'm going to start first with the wardrobe. Now in here, we travel with a bag with a couple of clean towels in. And that's one of our kind of top tips that makes life really easy for us. When we get back from a trip, we unpack them, wash them, put them straight back in here again, because then it's one less thing to remember. We've also just bought a lightweight foldable laundry basket because we found that we were putting all the clothes into a bag in here and it was taking up quite a lot of space. So that's gonna be the first outing of this on this next trip this weekend. We have a, a very small 12 volt lightweight vacuum in here. We have our Crocs and sliders and Sarah's new caravan slippers are in here. And also our Thule wall organizer, all empty, just folded up there, ready to kind of take out and use on site. So that's what travels in the wardrobe, not very much at all. Next up under the bed, which is a cavernous space, but of course we have to be careful of weight. So that also has the spare wheel in it, in this caravan. Under here we have these very useful little plastic boxes and we have our tea and coffee canisters, our kitchen mugs, some other lightweight kitchen items, our utensils like serving spoons and spatulas and that kind of thing. We also have a small box in which we keep Sarah's um, straighteners and hairdryer. There are some lightweight foldable chairs and a lightweight foldable table and dozers kind of foam bed. That's really all that is kept underneath the bed. Despite it being a big space, being rear of the axle, we need to look out for weight. So next up, cupboard underneath the vanity sink, not much in there at all. Loo roll and a toothbrush holder and our toothbrush charger, that's really it. Nothing travels in the bathroom and nothing travels in the cabinets over the bed until we get to site and empty all of the clothes into there that we've overpacked because we are overpackers. Next up, I'm gonna get the bulkier items in and packed over the axle so you can see what we travel with. Okay, now to pack the things that are gonna sit over the axle, so kind of the bigger or bulkier or heavier items. First off, the site we're staying at this weekend doesn't have a serviced pitch for us, so we need the aqua roll and we need the waste master. I put the aqua roll there, that fits nicely in that space. Next, I pop the waste master here, just prop that up nicely there. And top tip, these bags, which like most things we found on Amazon, I think, um, are a great thing for packing your aqua roll and waste master away in after your trip, because they can tend to get a bit grubby, can't they? But these help keep your caravan spick and span. Next up is the heaviest item that we travel with in the caravan and it's our awning and I think when I weighed this it's about 21 kilos so this goes smack bang over the axle which in this caravan is here and pop it that side and then that's got a perfect little spot for the very last item which is our TV box. And I know this is not a great use of space. There's a very bulky box for a small TV, but it works. So what I do, without scratching everything up, is I pop that in there. And that's the way that we travel. So everything that's bulky and heavy is over the axle. It's all nicely secured. Jobs are good. Dozer is overseeing the proceedings. Okay, so next up, front locker. Not really very much in here. One gas bottle, one watering can, the awning skirt lives in there. Um, toilet chemicals, we've got a little basket there with like toilet chemicals, um, hose to fill the aqua roll, that kind of thing. A small toolbox with a few tools and a ramp, and that is it. Next up is what goes in the boot. Now, as you can see, we've got a crate for dozer, so that takes up the majority of the space in the boot. However, 
also goes in here are things that will fit down the side. We've got a very small little fold out table. So that goes down here. A um, couple of these things, I'm going to put them in here for illustration purposes only, but we'll be using them just before we go. Those are the very important things like the nose weight gauge and the torque wrench. So they're all within easy reach. So I'll just pop those in there, pop those in there like that, and they will be used before we go just to check everything out and then popped in there. We also, because it's quite weighty, we also keep the power cable in the back there as well. So that again, because of its shape, slips nicely down the back there. Also, dozer's tie-out stake. We've got a couple of little cubbies at the side which are really handy for um, different shaped items. So I'll pop that in there. Now, we recently bought a new awning carpet which is super comfy. And that fits nicely down the other side. Um, and then we've just got a few uh, spaces left for bits and bobs. So I put the tow, um, the tow hitch cover in there. Little bag for that there. So that generally kind of goes up there or something like that. And that's about it for the back of the car. Right, now it's time to play Jenga and pack the back seat. First up, this fairly heavy duty box that we've got some sundry items, the 12 volt pump and pegs. So, there we go, that's that. Next up, walking boots which fit perfectly down in the footwell. Now, if we're going for a longer trip, we probably will take more pairs of shoes that tends to then take up more room so we'll have a box full of shoes to try and squeeze in some coats our handy cloth bag this one has got some towels some blankets for dozer and his cool coat just in case because you never can tell with weather is it going to rain or is it going to be sunny so we've packed for both eventualities because it's a bank holiday you can never be too sure so that's that oh. bag of clothes now as max said if we were going for a longer trip we'd probably have a couple of these to try and fit into the back seat so We've tried to pack light for this trip. Next up, games, DVDs, entertainment, very important. Dozer's box of food and bits and pieces. That's there. Dozer's handy ramp for getting in and out of the car and also in and out of the caravan. Now, if you haven't seen it, we recently did a video top 10 tips for traveling with your senior dog and a ramp is absolutely a must have for us. Last but not least for now, Dozer's favorite toy. Can't travel without his dinosaur. So we'll put that there and of course, uh, when we're ready to leave in the morning before we go, we'll pack up the box of food, toiletries, any last minute items, anything that needs charging and things like that, we will fit in here. But I think at the moment we're good to go. Well, that is us all packed up and almost ready to go. If you've got any top tips for how you pack up your caravan, what you put in the car, what you leave in, what you leave out, please leave them in the comments below. Next stop for us is Heaven Farm in Uckfield, which we are very excited Super. about. So we're really looking forward to sharing that with you. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.